Local 4 News starts now with a breaking news alert. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us here on Local 4 Plus and click on Detroit.com. I'm Rhonda Walker. And I'm Nick Monticelli. We're following breaking news out of Rochester and Auburn Hills, where police are telling everyone at Oakland University to stay indoors. Priya Mann is there on the scene. She's been there for about an hour and a half right now. Yes, and I know you're bringing us up to speed on all the latest developments that you're learning involving these armed car thieves. And Rhonda, Nick, good morning to you. Yes, we've been moving, making our way across campus right now. I want to show you behind me. That is an Oakland University police officer, multiple law enforcement agencies here on campus. He is actually here at the Meadowbrook Amphitheater where police believe these two armed suspects could be hiding. Let me walk you through what we know so far. It has been a very busy morning for law enforcement agencies all across southeast Michigan. All of this started early Monday morning when shots were fired at an auto dealer in Grand Blank Township. Police say several vehicles were stolen, shots were fired, and then one driver crashed on the ramp from southbound I-75 to Jocelyn in Auburn Hills. That driver was killed. Then there were multiple scenes around campus where police uh, are urging folks to shelter in place if you live here uh, on the campus of Oakland University. If you're a student who is commuting here, you're also told to stay at home at this time. Do not come to the campus. So again, police believe that two armed suspects could be in or around the Meadowbrook amphitheater. In fact, we actually saw when it was a little bit darker, some squad cars had their lights shining into the woods to see if anybody would come out. We've also driven by some of the dorms here where we've seen an active police presence outside of the dorms. And again, that is an Oakland University police officer, multiple law enforcement agencies, including Oakland um, deputies as well as Genesee County deputies. So a very active scene here today. And of course, this entire police situation is also impacting commuters, especially with that fatal crash on a freeway ramp. Uh, my colleague Kim Julio has been looking at sort of the impact on commuters this morning. I'll turn things over to her. All right, thank you, Priya. And now get, let's take a look at what's happening on our roadways this morning. As she mentioned, I-75 southbound, that's where that investigation is underway. That exit ramp to Jocelyn currently closed right now as they continue that investigation. Now we're starting to see the backups as rush hour continues and traffic volumes start to increase. So again, if you're traveling through the Auburn Hills area, expect some delays over on southbound I-75. Looks like it's very slow moving through this area as you approach this exit. So in the meantime, if you're traveling this way, uh, exit at Sashabaugh Road. Now, I want to give you a, a closer look at what's happening here. So, uh, we took this earlier video of the exit ramp here at uh, southbound I-75 at Jocelyn. As you can see, police vehicles on the scene right now as they continue this investigation. Looks like there's a car in the ditch there as they take some photographs and uh, looks like they're bringing out a stretcher. So, we have learned that this is a deadly accident. Uh, again, that's over on I-75 southbound at Jocelyn Road. That exit ramp is closed. So, in the meantime, exit early at Sashabaugh Road instead.